Hundreds of people gathered to, all in, uh, to honor fallen firefighter Jason Dean. The deputy chief died from complications of COVID-19 just last week, and today he was laid to rest. CBS 17's Jamise Price was in Clayton Town Square, where a community flooded the streets to say goodbye to a man they're calling a hero. Deputy Chief Jason Dean definitely had a hero's farewell. People who never met him said they felt compelled to be here today to support his family, to support the fire department, and to tell Dean, job well done. A final ride around Clayton for fallen firefighter Jason Dean. He was probably one of the most honorable men you could know. He was, uh, he loved his wife, he loved his children. He, um, he was one of the most dedicated firemen, just lived for fire and EMS. After two decades of service, the 42-year-old's life cut short after a months-long battle with COVID-19. It hit, hit a little bit more closer to home. For the whole community, it's been tough. Tough, but together. This town stands strong to support Dean's family and his brothers and sisters of the fire department. To his family, um, I'd like to say I'm sorry this happened. Being here is like paying my respect to somebody that gave his life for the community. Ah! Hundreds of firefighters from across the state traveled a 13-mile procession to bring Dean back home to fire station number one. People in the community lined the streets of the route to see him one last time. My son is, he wants to be a firefighter when he grows up, so this was a chance for him to see a whole lot of fire trucks coming by and just a chance for us to say goodbye. Following a town-wide processional, Dean's flag draped coffin was carried into the bay at fire station number one for a public viewing. Dean leaves behind his wife, Christy, and his two daughters. In Clayton, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.